This video is just kind of like the second part of um, putting together Arduino CNC lathe and um, you know this is how I uh, made the box to put all the controls in. Um, in the end I wound up buying a plastic bud box from Amazon.com. Um, it was about the right size. The aluminum panel I had originally made to mount everything on just wasn't right so I had another piece of um, real soft 8 inch aluminum. So here I am just kind of, you know, cutting it up to the right size to make a uh, panel to fit in the new box. Because the new box, you know, didn't come with any kind of a panel. It just had some mounting holes. So there it is. Um, cut the panel out, put some mounting, you know, holes in it. And then I transferred all the equipment over from the other panel that I had. And um, the box was really pretty easy to work with. I, um, like here it is, just I'm putting a outlet in the bottom of it that will be turned on and off by the Arduino to control the spindle and um, I was able to just you know easily drill the box using those step drills um, they drilled it pretty clean and the box wall as you can see there was probably close to an eighth inch thick maybe a little bit thicker so you know it's a fairly sturdy box um, and there you can see I got the outlet in, there's a hole that I drilled with a hole saw for the fan on the um, power supply unit. And then here it is just um, putting some holes on the other side just for the um, air to escape. Now um, in the end I'm going to make a filter assembly to go on that input side on the fan to keep dust out of it. But you know this is um, basically the way the box is configured now. And luckily the fan on the power supply can push a real good pressure through it so um, I don't have to worry about impeding the flow too much. So there it is. I just, you know, marked out the holes I wanted to drill for the, um, get square inch for the air coming out. And I just went back with a, um, start out with a small drill and then opened them up a little bit with a bigger drill to, you know, get the pattern in there. And then I um, had some clear window decal stuff that I did that I used to make a nameplate for the front panel of it. Um, and there you can see it's um, you know just a little nameplate. Uh, the buttons I got off of Amazon they were made for um, kids' toys I think. They were the cheapest combination of lighted buttons that I could find, so um, I used them. And then I got a Woodstock uh, power switch off of Amazon also. And that's actually held on by a magnet, so if you lose power, it actually drops out and um, resets everything. So, you know, it might add a little more safety to the unit over time. And I just cut an old piece of an extension off to use its power cord on it. And, you know, basically, you open it up on the inside, you can see it's all the hardware I had on that other panel. Plus, you know, these switches here, and then I added another fan to blow down on the um, the motor, stepper motor controllers there. And then I just um, added a uh, relay, actually a contactor to control the um, spindle there. And there you can see the back side of that magnetic switch. And um, it seemed like a pretty good deal for like $11, so I'll see how it works. And then I added some LEDs around the inside of the box, and there's a little switch to turn them on when you... Um, actually open up the cover on the box because I had extra 5 volts and 12 volts available from the supply. Now I picked up another one of those stepper drivers there you can see from Amazon for like you know $16 and actually there's room for a third one and everything's wired in place for a third one also so um, you know it'll be easy to later make another box like this for a full three axis control. And there's just a little read relay that I added for the Arduino to be able to control the 110 volt coil on the um, contactor. So you can pretty much see that everything really fit in there nicely and um, you know I'll have good airflow. There's a uh, piece of foam on top of the power supply that you see there that um, actually divides it off just to keep the air flowing through the uh, cabinet. And, um, you know, then it's got that magnetic switch on for the power on. All the um, buttons there light up. Uh, I don't know. I don't really need four buttons, but I just put them in there for now and wired them because they came as a kit. And there you can see you open the door, the uh, little LEDs come on there and um, give you some really good work light in there so you can see what you're doing and, um, you know, you know, have access to everything really easily. So once this is mounted on the lathe, there will be some more wires to be added for the um, steppers and the um, 
the limit switches and whatnot but that'll be real easy to wire in later so you know this is basically I thought I'd share it with you this is just um, the control box configuration that I came up with to um, start out with and it should you know it's everything seems to be working now and in the future I'm actually going to look for a um, small Windows 10 tablet to mount on the front of it to uh, run the universal G code loader um, you know, I'm hoping to be able to find a used one cheap somewhere off Craigslist or something, but you know, I just thought I'd give you an idea of, um, you know, a control box that I built for this Arduino that, you know, I think is going to work out pretty good in the long run. And it'll probably be a while till I get to the mechanical end of this because um, gardening time is coming up and cutting firewood time and everything else, so, you know, that may have to be put off for a couple months. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.